What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Mount Mortar, did a little bit of something, got ourselves a rare Pokemon, and then suddenly remembered that we forgot another rare Pokemon. Yeah, I think that's what we did. Now in this episode right here, we're going to be going straight to uh, the Ruins of Elf. I believe there's quite a few things that I forgot to do there. And I guess it's appropriate for us to actually do it now since, well, we got all the HMs and we got nothing but time and all that stuff. We're trying to prolong this whole thing. I don't even know. Yeah, we, this won't be the last time we're visiting the Ruins of Valve. Now, we're still in the low quality kind of uh, videos and all that stuff because, well, we're going to be going through a cave here and there. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and grab this in Apricorn. There we go. And, uh, yeah, eventually we're gonna have to go through the legendary Pokemon because, well, you guys already know how Draven loves his legendaries. Not really that much. Okay, so, the Ruins of Elf, a place where you'll be able to find yourself some unknowns. I do believe we solved the very first puzzle. As many of you guys already know, Draven has Amnesia, or the CTE, I don't know what it is. Uh, there's the Ruins of Elf, and, uh, I do believe we're getting watched, so we're not going there. What we're going to be doing is, let's go straight in here. They did change it up just a tad bit, make it look like a maze, and so... If we look at it, yes, we've already gone through this section right here. Solved the puzzle and all that stuff, so now... Let's go right ahead and see what the other section uh, has in store for us. As many of you guys already know, there are puzzles and all that crud, and uh, let's see... We need to... I think we've already been here, because I'm, if memory serves me correctly... We wanted to get a we wanted to get a moonstone in order to get ourselves what was his name uh, Nido King and all that. We succeeded. See, good old Draven has the CTE. Not endorsing it, but still, that's what happens when you play football, guys. So let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find right here. And yes, we've already solved the puzzle right here, which led us to the moonstone. So this leaves us to the final. The final section right up here. So what needs to happen is we need to go straight into the island or the Union Cave. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in front of the Union Cave, guys. And what we need to do now is I believe we have to go in here and figure out how to get to the other section of the Ruins of Elf. Now, if you guys remember, the last time we were here, we went in to discover... You know, our good old buddy Nessie and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Let's see. We gotta get ourselves a, a Max Repel right here because I, I, I seriously don't feel like getting attacked by weaker Pokemon. You know, I'm feeling that kind of, like, snobby and all that stuff. So, let's go right up to the northern section right here. And where will this lead us? Okay, so the Union Cave. Now, we already went through this section. The only problem was we couldn't Surf. Now that we have Surf, this is gonna be easy. And, well, it can lead us to something. It's going to lead us to something right here. And, well, here we have a Pokemon trainer ready to battle us. So let's go right ahead and start destroying uh, some Pokemon teams right here. Anywho, guys. Yes, we are in the adventure portion. The uh, side quest version or portion of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Mainly because, well, we've already got 16 badges. We've already gotten everything uh, taken care of. Now, the next thing we need to do is eventually capture the legendary Pokemon and, and do everything else. So, yeah. Can't wait for that to happen. But there is one big positive about capturing the roaming Pokemon, and that is that, yes, uh, in this generation, they made it so much easier for us to actually capture these legendary Pokemon. So, yeah, it won't be that hard to actually do. So, let's go right ahead and not answer that phone. Now, do we have a Pokemon that has, uh, yes, we have Strength. So always have a Pokemon with strength, and this section, or this part, will lead us to the Union Cave up here, and I know there would be, but there, there might be an item right there, but we need to go here, and as you guys can see, we are in front of the next section of the Ruins of Elf. Crap baskets! Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys, we have to go all the way back. Okay, so we're back guys. Holy buckets. You see, you have to be careful with your steps because you could you could be going all the way back. Anywho, here we are in front of the ruins of Elf, and this is the last puzzle that we need to go to. 
As you guys can see, a 10-legged Pokemon that swims on the bottom of the sea and eats plankton. You guys already know who this guy is, and well, you're gonna be seeing my my uh, handy dandy, my handy dandy mouse do its trick right here. And to me, it's looking like it's supposed to go right here. I know I should always go for corners, but that's not how I work. Yeah, let's see How about this side. Okay, so Almanite. I think that's Almanite, right? Almanite, Almanite, Almastar. Let's see. You guys remember the Pokemon uh, songs? How they try to get us to remember all these Pokemon? I remember them. I never really, I never really, well, I never remembered all of, well, I only remembered one because it was advertised a lot. So, let's see, that could potentially, okay, so I know where this is going, okay? Right here. And this could potentially be right here, I think. Probably, I don't even know. Okay, so let's go... Okay, let's put this back. I have a feeling... It's right here. No. Where the heck is it? Okay, right there. Alrighty, so this could be the spot right here, and... There it is, we got it right. So that is an Omanite. And this one will unlock, I guess, the rest of the alphabet. So as you guys can see, the rest of the alphabet has been unlocked. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go back into that section and, you know, kind of open up the next, uh, the next mystery of the Ruins of Al. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so after a nice half hour of uh, trying to find myself a water stone, we're finally back, guys. So what you need in this little section of uh, the puzzle is a water stone. As you guys can see, it is spelt water. So the only thing that we have that even concludes is water. Well, it happens to be a water stone, and we weren't going to wait for a very, very long time for somebody to give us a water stone, so we had to go to Bill's house. Yeah, we had to go to Bill's house, or the cottage, in order to get these elemental stones. And, well, I kind of wasted a, a long-ass episode for it. Not really going to do it. You can probably check it out somewhere else. But as you guys can see, we do have a water stone, and we're going to use it. And from there, it's going to open up this section right here. And bam, you got yourself quite a few more uh, items right here. So let's go right ahead and grab this. We're going to be grabbing ourselves a Lepa Berry, which is always awesome. And then a Mystic Water, a second Mystic Water. That Those are for those who like don't have any more Mystic Water. And here we go with a Star Stone, or Stardust, I should say. And this one right here, a Star Piece. And from there, we can go straight down here. And it's going to be another writing. So they possess power to sense with mind and reject outside. Hmm. I wonder if I if I, I wonder if I spelt it or if I said that correctly. Now, I did say it was the last one. I was incorrect. We're going to be going back to the Union Cave and we're going to be going back to the section where you need to go in order to get to the last part. In this one, you're going to be needing Ho-Oh if you have Ho-Oh, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so we're back into the Union Cave, and what we need to do now is we need to... Actually, I think we already battled this guy, so yes, he's so hungry. The exit is right here. Now, if you go to the top portion of this place, you will be able to find yourself in another area right here into the uh, Union Cave. Now, of course, we completely forgot to put on a uh, repel, so yes, we kind of need to do that and all that stuff. Can't believe we're uh, forgetting all these things. So let's see, uh, where in the heck are my repels? Ah, there you go. We got like nine of those things out. Okay. So let's go right ahead and surf our way around here. And well, let's uh, let's see. I think that's the I think that's the way to go. There we go. And well, look at that. We are towards the exit. And of course, you're gonna be finding. You're going to be finding one more trainer to battle right here in the Ruins of Valve, so let's go right ahead and have him battle us. So, hmm, this is a strange place. It probably is. Okay, so here we go, taking on Psychic Nathan, and he'll be coming out with his giraffe rig. So let's go with an ancient power, finish that guy off, and yes, we are super powerful, and Nathan has nothing against us right here. There we go. Okay, so let's go right inside right here, and, well... Let's go ahead and figure out this puzzle. So, here it is. This Pokemon with feathers of seven colors fly through the sky according to legend. Many of you guys already know. It's our good old buddy, 
Uh oh. Now we have to uh, figure out the whole puzzle right here. It's yeah, it's usually a, a difficult one, especially in the older versions. And uh, well, I'm gonna try and figure this one out. Let's see what. Let's see if good old Draven can actually figure it out. Let's see. Ah, oh, those are the. That's the feet. That is the feet. I think. I don't know. And then here we have a corner area. And yeah, th this is looking uh, pretty clusterfucked right now. And um, let's see. I think. There we go. Yeah, this is looking pretty clusterfucked right now. So, let's see. What if we go right here? Those are legs. Okay, so... Put this away. There we go. There's the legs. That right there. And... I want to say this one's going right here. But it's looking like... This. And we're going to keep that there. And we should probably put this up here. And let's see. Huh. It's looking like it, but I kind of feel as though we messed up somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe like that. And maybe like that. I don't even know, guys. Yeah, we kind of messed it up, so... Hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. Go that way. Hmm. Hmm. Or, 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 or... Nah, just playing, guys. It's a... <laughs> yeah, the feet are looking a little twisted right there, so... Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. What if we go right here? There we go. Okay, I think it's starting to, to match up right here. Huh. But we're still we're still missing something here, guys. Oh my god. Let's see, let's see. Maybe like that. There we go. Okay, so we figured it out, guys. And as you guys can see, we have opened up the next chamber. Now to correct the mistake, now after we figured out the whole ho o -oh puzzle right here, it actually opens up every single uh, letter in the alphabet. If you capture every single Pokemon or uh, unknown in the alphabet, it will uncover the last two. The newest uh, unknowns is that that would have to be question mark and exclamation point. So I'm going to fast forward and we're going to go back and we're going to try and take care of the situation now with uh, everything discovered and stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And thankfully, we didn't really go anywhere else when we used that. Uh, what was it called? Uh, when we used our what was it called? Our escape rope. Now, if I'm if I'm if I'm not mistaken, we have to put. Uh, Ho-Oh at the very front and go right here and it says Ho-Oh and after that BAM it opens up obviously you can't see Ho-Oh because it's too big for this facility right here and you got yourself four more items one you're gonna be finding the life orb a very powerful item a lepa berry and let's see what are these two what are these two Ah, revival herb which actually revives your Pokemon bitter taste and a charcoal you know one of those things that you can use to actually power up your fire type Pokemon and the last piece to this puzzle is this we humans need to walk with the with them we what was it we leave here for the sake of of them hmm that doesn't really make any sense now comment down below if I may have mistaken it or anything like that. So, that's basically it, guys. And look at that. Ho-Oh is actually going in here. Huh. So, that's basically it on the Ruins of Elf. I've uh, taught you guys everything I know when it comes to the Ruins of Elf in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. In the next episode, yes, we're going to get legendary. We're going to try and capture those pesky roaming Pokemon. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always. If you guys want to support the channel, there's a merch store right down there. If you want to collect something, get something, you know, official GLD uh, merchandise, it's right there. Thank you guys again for being positive, for being, uh, you know, patient, and, well, for being as supportive as possible. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we capture our legendary dogs. See you guys.